To assist me in honoring our second awardee, I would like to introduce our next student guest, Genesis Fernandez, a third grade student at George West Elementary School in Providence. Genesis, will you please join me on stage as we honor Christian Frazier, managing partner, KPMG. Good evening, everyone. My name is Genesis Fernandez. I'm a student at Georgia West Elementary School, and I want to share what we did at JA Day. This was our second year participating in Junior Achievement Day at my school. I was looking forward to a fun, filled day learning exciting new things. Mrs. Fraser was our classroom guest speaker. She is an accountant for a large company. Mrs. Fraser explained that she loves math, so this was a good job for her. <laughs> <laughs> she inspired me to work hard, believe in yourself, and always follow your dreams. I will never forget that. During JA Day, my class learned about different parts of cities called zones. Mrs. Fraser also taught my classmates and I about businesses and money. My favorite part of the day was when everyone got their own building and we built our own city in the classroom. Thank you, Mrs. Fraser, and Junior Achievement Day for a wonderful learning experience. Thank you. Thank you, Genesis. An outstanding job. Kristen, for your demonstrated acts of excellence and commitment to the Rhode Island community, and to Junior Achievement's mission of inspiring and preparing young people to succeed in a global economy. The Junior Achievement Board of Directors award you our highest honor, the Morris J.W. Gaby Profile and Excellence Award. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone, and thank you, Genesis. I was pleasantly surprised to see Genesis with her family out front This was when I came in this evening, and I was so glad she was able to make it tonight. I was lucky enough as a, I would say at her age, to have really great role models. Coming, you know, being in school every day, our teachers and my family and the folks in my community. And I had not had a J experience as a kid. But as I uh, was entered the partnership with KPMG, I had the greatest opportunity to join the Board of Junior Achievement. And my first experience in the classroom was actually fulfilling my requirement as a new board member to be in the classroom and really experience it. And I think the experience of being in the classroom it really brings it all to life, either as you know, knowing that your dollars are doing amazing work in your community but being in front of the classroom with these children and seeing them want to be active and, under, and learning new things that they may not learn on a day-to-day -day basis at school. And I think the, the complement of the curriculum of JA and how it goes hand in hand with what they're learning in the classroom, and I know there's not a lot of board time sometimes or in the classroom to add extra things in. And so adding this though as a financial literacy component to their day-to-day -day work is extremely important. And one of the things I learned when I first got into the classroom, when I, and I visited the same classroom for several years and then got to experience being in George West for the past two years, is that many of our students, unfortunately, don't get the opportunity to be having uh, opportunities to really be out and leaving their classroom for, say, a field trip. 
And I really heard about that for the first time. I think I was in the classroom for the first time, and I didn't realize just how budget cuts were working, and it wasn't something I was day to day active in in our community to understand what was happening in our school system. And I remember the teacher saying to me, well, you are our day of you coming to us is the field trip. And that really resonated with me that for them, this one day of me being in the class and doing something different to break up their day to day was so very important to them and it would have a lasting impact on them. And so when I go into the classroom, I typically go back to a JA in the day format for a school that's been having JA in the past. One of the first things I always ask was, did you have JA last year? And you see the kids shoot their hands up and they're really excited about it and they've experienced it. In second grade, I always teach third grade and they like to tell me what they did last year. And I like to be able to know that we build upon learning the next phase of JA and hoping that the funding is there so that when kids are still going into their next year for fourth grade, that there will be a teacher and a volunteer from our community in their classroom to teach them again. And hopefully, for kids that have gotten in there and have had a JA experience from first grade, they will have it all the way through and have that as part of their experience in elementary school. I really want to thank my KPMG team that's here. Each year, J K KPMG gets behind Leaders Day and spends time in the classroom. And I know a bunch of my folks here have all been in the classroom with me. And they all come out knowing that it's a really great experience. And they talk about it with our new associates when they come in to get them to volunteer as well. And I want to also congratulate our other honorees that are here this evening and thank JA and the nominating committee for putting my name forward and recognizing me. Thank you.